What's up all geeks and nerds and Star Wars lovers? Today I'm talking about that special fucking cameo in that Star Wars solo, A Star Wars Story. Now, this is something I've been holding in because I've been wanting to talk about that cameo and what I think it actually means for the future Star Wars anthology films. Given, if you guys don't know my thoughts on Solo Star Wars Story and you guys want to know that, make sure to go hit that link and go check it out down below. You guys can go check out my full review on that non-spoilers. But of course, this is a spoilers. I'm not really going in much depth because there's not a lot of stuff to really spoil in this film, but there is this big cameo that I do want to talk about and what I think it means for other future anthology films. So, without further ado... Let's get straight into that. Going into this film, I, I was not really expecting much. I did come out really enjoying it, and there is this one big cameo, which is, holy shit, Darth Maul is in the film. The voice is by Sam Witwer, the guy who does um, the Schmodown. He's actually the Schmodown champion right now at the moment. And he's also, drumroll please, he's also on Star Wars Rebels and Star Wars Clone Wars. Great thing seeing Darth Maul in there. And plus, it's nice to see him in there. Plus, it's portrayed by the original Darth Maul guy. So that was a nice kind of twist to put him in there. But the thing about this is that I think this opens up a new corner pocket for the anthology films. The thing that I appreciate so much about Han Solo's film isn't just like the film in general. I think the film's kind of mediocre at times, but it is still a fun adventure. The thing is, is that I think it opened up and kind of opened up different underworld, the underworld area of Star Wars that we have not yet hit. And other areas of that manner is the crime boss, kind of the stuff with Jabba the Hutt and all that, because we do find now that Darth Maul is putting together a team obviously we did see this in Star Wars the Clone Wars which was nice to see but the thing that I'm putting out there now is where does this take us next where I think this takes us next is I think it opens up a couple different anthology films I'm gonna get the two out of the way that are like probably the most obvious ones actually three out of the way that are pretty obvious I think one of the ones that is pretty obvious is that if this film does good they are gonna do a Han Solo sequel I actually do want to see one I don't fit I don't know if they'll actually particularly do one i think if it does well but there's a lot of backlash against film so i think there is a way of putting alden in a different route maybe making a lando clarissian film i think lando is a nice start i think donald glover is a big standout of this film maybe making han be the side character of that film and lando being the main one would be a different dynamic as well of course but i think the third film that really consider is an obi-wan film there's been tons of rumors that obi-wan is going to be happening i'm surprised they have not announced anything yet because nothing's really confirmed but i am curious to see and especially after seeing this there is a couple years in between this and Rebels, so I'm considering seeing where does Darth Maul go with this? How does he end up where he is in Star Wars Rebels? Because that was my biggest question leaving this film. Not considering where Han goes, weirdly enough, but it's where Darth Maul goes. Because there's this big considered gap, like, how did he get to where he is in Rebels? Is it something to do with Obi-Wan, perhaps? Or is it something to do with Han Solo, perhaps? Did Han Solo screw something in him? And that's where I go to this. I want to propose a Darth Maul solo film. I think it'd be pretty cool. It opens up a little bit of the underworld area and maybe not even Darth Maul be the main character. Maybe he'd just be, maybe it's a different type of character, which Adam from Almost Sideways, you know what I'm gonna be bringing up. Dash Rendar, another smuggler that is not canon yet. He is it from a video game and Adam will always praise the game. He's from Legends. He's not considered canon, but I think making Dash Rendar would kind of go into this aspect. He's a smuggler. He's a part of this underground world and this underworld of the Star Wars universe. So I want to propose Dash Rendar being in a Star Wars film. I think it would open up this different type of realm that people are complaining that we it's an anthology film. Star Wars is a vast universe. Why don't we get into those universes? I think opening up, people want to see Dash Rendar, bring him in, cast him, put him in there, and it's showing up again. You could even have Han Solo showing up again, but I think the other thing it adds in is that maybe Dash can be a part of this universe. Maybe something happens with him and Darth Maul. Maybe something happens with him and Obi-Wan. I think there's a whole corner pocket for them to explore and have all these side characters really be a part of it all, but I do think that they are setting up something with Darth Maul for the future, either a solo film or or him being a protagonist or an antagonist in a certain other coming up film. Again, I think this film opens up a lot of realms for the whole general of this underground crime layer thing within the Star Wars universe that I've been wanting to see for a long time. Maybe it's a Boba Fett film. Maybe it's a bounty hunter film. Maybe it's a different type of film. Fuck, maybe it might be Bosk for all we know. But I do think it opens up some nice stuff in there that I do and am interested in seeing. So this is where I'm going to leave it to you guys. I just Plus, what else other videos do you guys want to see happening in the Star Wars universe? Let me know down below. I'll be doing tons of Star Wars video, guys. Of course, guys, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Again, running down the anthology list of films that I think they do probably. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I'm thinking way too much in this, and this is just a nice cameo. But I do think Han Solo sequel, Orlando Clarissian sub 
movie, which I actually don't really want. I would rather just him be a solo, another, like, a side character. Um, going from there, maybe a mall protagonist kind of having him be a star wars character in his own film i think that'd be a nice thing i think people would flock to the theaters to go see that and maybe an obi-wan film i think that's the most rumored thing but i do think the dash render thing is something nice it, it gets rid of a lot of things of people having issues with oh my god you just keep going to the same universe no it, do it do dash runner make him the main character have these other characters kind of be sprinkled throughout maybe surprises have darth maul be the main villain maybe with his crime syndicate and dash trying to be to go against it and then it kind of shows where darth maul ends up going i think it's a nice little thing in there and i just wanted to throw that tidbit out for you guys but of course guys thank you guys so much for watching this video you guys are all the best if you're new here make sure that like button and consider subscribing because i do tons of videos like this ranking reviews and some of these little kind of editorial view videos i think they're kind of fun to do but guys other than that you guys are seriously all the best go hit up all my social media links if you guys want to talk more geeky stuff most important thing is go hit up sandwich on films down below because down below at sandwich on films you guys can get into advanced movie screens movie news and movie reviews and right there they're actually doing advanced movie screens for action point and a little film called oceans eight yeah i'm actually excited for that film so guys until next time stay classy